tie game, two minutes left. Every decision you make is magnified 10 times. Who do you want on the field? What plays will you call? Each decision could determine the outcome of the game. Will you finish well or will you choke at the end? Welcome to the two minute warning. Welcome to today's two minute warning where we look at signs concerning Christ's soon return. There was an old commercial when I was growing up that said, there's nothing like the real thing, baby. Coke is it. Now, whether Coke was it or not, I have my doubts. I don't really know, but I do know this. There is nothing like the real thing when it comes to salvation and living a supernatural spirit filled life. The last days are going to be marked by deception. In Matthew 24, verse 3, when the disciples asked, what will be the sign of your coming and of the end of the age? The very first thing Jesus said was, take heed that no one deceives you. The deception of the last days is going to be so great that there will even be three demonic spirits known as frog spirits that are sent out and they will deceive people using miraculous signs and wonders. And if it were possible, even deceive the very elect of God. We live in a day of mass deception. Whatever God does, Satan counterfeits. He counterfeits salvation. He'll get us to try to accept some other form of salvation, whether it be works based, that it's something I have to do with, that I do. Um, or if it's some false religion or something like that, friends, there is not salvation found in any other name but the name of Jesus. It is by grace through faith in Jesus that we're saved. If you don't know you're saved, you need to call on the name of the Lord Jesus today and turn from your sins and turn to him as your savior and be saved. But then, um, uh, God has a miraculous work for us to do in these last days, the, and Satan wants to counterfeit that as well. But friends, there is a genuine work of the Holy Spirit of God that God wants to do in and through our lives in these last days. Joel 2.28 says, I will pour out in the last days, I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh. Your sons and your daughters will prophesy. Your um, old men will dream dreams, and your young men will see visions. Um, God wants to do a supernatural work in and through us to touch this world in these last days. I heard it put this way recently, and I believe it's so true, that a world in chaos needs a church in revival, and a world in peril needs to encounter a church that is in Pentecost. We desperately need a fresh outpouring of the Holy Spirit of God in our lives individually, in our churches that will affect our communities and affect our nation. And that's what I'm praying for. That's what I'm believing for. As long as I'm here, I believe God has a work for me to do, and he does you as well. So friends, Rely on God's power. Seek him while he may be found. Seek the outpouring of the Holy Spirit in your life and let God use you to do a miraculous work for his glory to share this good news of the gospel with those who are in need. Have a great day. I hope you've enjoyed the two minute warning. I hope that um, that you're telling your friends about it. If you're watching on YouTube, like the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. But I hope to see you again tomorrow on the two minute warning. Be blessed, be encouraged, seek the real thing and let God do a new work in your life and through you to touch others today. God bless you. Have a great day. See you next time.